G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of U-Boat on U-764. Hopefully you enjoyed the previous episode where we were in the Atlantic and we smashed up 50,000 tons of enemy shipping. Hopefully we're going to have a repeat today. We're heading down to the west coast of Africa. So here we are on the map. As you can see, we're heading to west coast of Africa. Uh, EJ3 to EK4 is the patrol sector. Got to sink 7,000 tons of shipping. And it looks like it's not that far, but it is very far away from where we are right now. So we are going to have to be careful of how we use the engines getting there and coming home as well. Alright, we've got our first contact here. We're barely down the coast of Portugal here and we have encountered ourselves a convoy. So we've got ourselves in a position and we are going to wait for them to approach. We want to be a, around about 5 kilometers away from this line, maybe a little bit closer than that if we can. It just depends what's going to be on our immediate left, but it looks pretty good at the moment. So we've got ourselves a Liberty cargo. She's going to be worth a few tons, that's for sure. And another Liberty here. So there's a little bit for the taking already. Let's see what kind of escorts they've got with them. We could probably push in a bit closer and just park the boat up here. Let them all come into range and see what we're dealing with. Not seeing too much in the way of destroyers at the moment. Got a C3 cargo here. Big value. There's a lot of big boats here. So we should probably try and dismantle this convoy a little bit. But like I said, we're only just coming up to well, halfway down Portugal here. We don't want to get too crazy with it. We still got to get to the patrol sector as well. So maybe we'll just cause a bit of damage here and then move on. What a beautiful sunset, a nice night to cause some havoc out in the Atlantic. So uh, let's just have a look, see what we are going to be taking down. Pretty much whatever's the closest, <coughs> closest ship to us. Make it nice and easy. Get them all on a high alert, so there's a destroyer there in the distance. We don't want to be dealing with that. And we got ourselves a nice big Liberty right in our face. So let's take a look at this. Let's see what we're dealing with. Seven knots, I assume, but always dangerous to assume. So let's just double check. Start the clock right there. And we'll stop the clock right there. Seven knots as predicted. Now we're going to change to red lighting because it is getting a little bit dark. And I'm assuming it will be dark by the time we finish up with these guys. So let's switch up to electric motors which will get that plume of smoke out of my face. And what are they? What distance? Uh, what's their angle of travel here? I have no idea what they're doing. It's not very much. Seven degrees. Perfect. So you need to unlock and lock on again. Seven degrees. And that's you ready for a hit. So let's see. Are we going to do a two for one here? Got a destroyer closing in a little bit on us. We don't want to get too far away from the rest of these boats. This Destroyer could back off a bit, that would be great. So we'll put a mark down, just so we know if we strike another torpedo. And I'll also double check the distance of that because I don't believe it. And you can't see if you up, if you lock. And then you back out and do something and lock back in. Then you have to actually re-lock onto the ship to do whatever you want to do. If that makes sense. Probably not. So, tube one, tube two. Turn to the right if you can. And fire those away. And hopefully 
That'll be the end of that. There's one hit. Let's see if we can get a second. Doesn't look like it. Maybe we had a dud there. But uh, she's got a fire on, which is good. But I don't think one torpedo has ever been enough to sink a Liberty in my experience. So hopefully at the very least it's going to be enough to slow her down to a complete stop. Damage report is not really that bad. She's still about 75% healthy. Hopefully the fire can do a bit of damage for us though. It's an American ship, so it's the right target. At least we weren't going for something we shouldn't. But that fire is working its way down the boat a little bit. It's causing a bit of damage. Unfortunate not to get a clean strike, but we might just have to let these other ships run on by and we'll come back with a deck gun possibly and finish it off. Okay, the convoy's gone on ahead and we are going to surface up the boat, get within range and just put a couple of rounds into this Liberty and hopefully that'll be the end of that. Shouldn't take too many I imagine, she's just sitting dead in the water now and there's nobody on board to defend it. So let's get the captain up there on the gun. We'll put a few rounds in. And that'll be about seven and a half, eight thousand tons already. So that's the the amount that we needed. And we haven't even got anywhere near the patrol sector yet. You can see the ships in the distance there. But they're, they're a bit far gone now to even come back and deal with us. We'll be well gone before they do. Alright, the Liberty is going down, so that's a good start for us. I'm not going to pursue the convoy. I would like to, but we still have plenty of work to do still, and I'm sure that we'll manage to find ourselves another convoy or two on the way down and on the way back. So all is not lost just yet. Alright, we're continuing south, and we've got ourselves a bit of funnel smoke. So here we have a lone ship. It is a what? It's an empire. A British empire. So you know what we're going to do here. We're going to surface up the boat. We're going to close in and we will just fully deck gun this thing to the bottom. And that'll save our torpedoes for if we find ourselves another convoy a little bit later. But so far so good. Seems to be a busy shipping lane right where we are plenty of action a little bit far away for shooting but don't mind the practice plenty of ammunition there we go one hit one lost not much of a sh uh, body to be aiming at but we'll, we'll get there we'll shoot her down and we'll get moving on again
Well, there she goes. Now we're going to keep heading on south and we'll see if we bump into any more convoys. I really just want to get to the patrol sector first before we start dealing with too many convoys though. But, you know, we've got to take what we can get. Can't spawn ships out of midair for us. Alright, well, we're still heading south and we've managed to come across another con convoy. And we are going to try and pick ourselves another ship or two off of this. We may as well. Seems to be travelling fairly quickly. We just want to get a little bit ahead so that we can cut in. And then we can start taking aim. See what it is that we've got. Hopefully there's a couple of tankers or something in here. That last con I'm a bit disappointed about the last the first convoy that we found because that was just full of huge boats. It would have been really good to sink all of that. But here we go, we've got a C3. That's good 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 aiming that. Let's have a go. And what else have we got? They look big on the map. Another C3. Okay, it's almost like a repeat of the convoy I was just talking about. So we've got a couple of empires, got a liberty, got a big destroyer there but we're well behind it, far enough at least that we can do an attack. So what are we going to aim at is the question. This thing's closest to us, probably going to start with you. And are we going to go for two for one or just take a hit and keep stalking the convoy? Let's see what they're doing. As in their direction of travel. So I'm doing this a little bit backwards this time. Normally you go around to the right. So the heading is 162. Not too bad. We're all pissing down out here. Bit choppy. But we might be able to get a good attack here. If we can sink a C3 then that's... I think they're about 12,000 tons or something. So that's pretty decent. Look at that. Just a big... Big row of masts on the horizon love to see it. So let's have a look. Anything out in front of you? Probably just that destroyer will be somewhere else down there. We don't want to be dealing with that though. We're all about taking names and sinking tons. So seven knots. 168. Let's recognize that as a C3. And distance, a little bit tough to tell when it's choppy like this. But, yep, for 4.5k, two torpedoes are coming your way. Two good hits there on the C3. And C3s are tough ships though. Two's not always a guarantee. Sometimes you may have to put a third. But if we can do the same as what we did with the Liberty earlier, then we might be able to let her just sit here dead in the water. Let the convoy run on ahead so that we can stay safe from the uh, destroyers because they'll be coming for us. Our health report's not too good, but like I said, two torpedoes is, is very often not enough. So I think we might just have to play dead in the water ourselves. Let the destroyers do their thing. Hopefully we can evade them. 
and then we will surface up the boat and finish this C3 although she does still seem to be sailing hopefully she's gonna stop yeah she doesn't look good though eh? listing hard destroyers are moving in let's just take it easy and play it safe we're down at a hundred meters so we should be alright as long as we don't have the engines running too loud there's our boat she is going down a little bit in health by the time she takes on that water it's just a case of watching her drown now by the looks of it might have got lucky here Okay, well, it doesn't look like she's going to sink um, quickly, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark on the map, and then once the convoy's moved on ahead and all that, we can come back, and as long as it doesn't keep running, then um, it should be all good to just come back and find her in that little area there. We we need to back out of here though because we've got destroyers heading over and we don't want to die just yet I haven't died yet and I don't want to so let's go down a little bit deeper slow down the engines and if we need to we'll chuck a decoy out of the ship and hopefully avoid some depth charges alright it was a long night trying to evade the destroyers we had a few depth charge runs around us but couple of decoys out the back and nowhere to be seen it's the daytime now obviously and our C3 is still sitting here dead in the water very little health though so you can see there it says it just needs to take on more water and I've got no health but she's just not taking it on so we just need to encourage her to have a little bit more intake Well, there she goes the stubborn one goes down didn't take too many shots in the end but would have been nice to go down with the torpedoes and we wouldn't be in this whole situation now the convoy has completely disappeared from us all right these are really are some busy shipping lanes here we've seen three large convoys already and we haven't even got to the patrol sector yet so these are good hunting grounds if you're playing U-boat and if you've got free roam or the mission to come down here would recommend doing this because this is so far if I wasn't trying to get to the patrol zone in such a rush I would have already had all the tonnage sunk it's a shame we don't have um, more torpedoes on the boat we could really cause some serious damage if we did that's why you've got to be a little bit careful with what you're doing because you can't just go all guns in and discharge all your torpedoes and you've still yet to have to go and do the patrol sector and maybe have to defend yourself at some point so let's have a look here we've got ourselves a destroyer here And we'll use this as a well maybe we should take it out I'm assuming it's seven knots a little bit far away for a torpedo actually I don't think that's within range just a little bit too far away for us so it might be another case of what we were doing with the previous two convoys as well just a little bit of a hit and run 
I'm sure we'll bump into more convoys along the way either going down to the patrol zone or coming back and you know we might even get a message from BDU yet saying that they need us to go and sink a ship with crucial technology so maybe it's a good thing so seven knots they're traveling on a heading of zero or 360 I don't think it would matter which number you put into there out of those two and we've got ourselves an empire so easy pickings it's really all we can shoot at at the moment in the convoy so as long as she's within range she's going to be taking a torpedo and she is so tube one load her up and let's fire away One good hit there. Big fire on the deck as well. Should be enough. Looks like it was more than enough. Well, oh, she's going down real quick. Good to see. Well, we've pretty much finished our patrol in the sector. There's been absolutely nothing but warships in this area haven't found a single convoy so what we're gonna do is once this is ticked over and says mission complete we'll start heading on out of here just make sure there we go mission complete we'll start heading back up towards the mid-atlantic slightly north and hopefully we'll pick ourselves up a couple of convoys or just one good convoy on the way home and we'll get ourselves a few more tons all right well we were heading home but we've picked up a convoy I did a pretty crappy job of putting down the angle there so I'm just gonna reassess and just run a new line just to be sure because we looked like we were a few degrees out there now we can just line that back up and that is 156 degrees taken away from 360 so that leaves us with 204 degrees Bit of sometimes those numbers can really take a too long for me to work it out get there in the end but when they're nice and easy it's easy Bit of red lights here to sort our vision out because it's a little bit dark out so let's see what we can see and let's get a solution sussed out don't know how much damage we're going to be able to inflict on this convoy would be nice to take down multiple ships obviously we'll do what we can we have been at sea for a long time though the boys are starting to get a bit anxious they want to get back to safe land so we've got ourselves a um, C3 so 204 check your distance set that there 11 kilometers that doesn't sound right seven knots I don't think I like that 11 kilometer better close in make sure that we're in range so where are we a couple of destroyers here that we don't want to tangle with so again, a little bit like the previous attacks, it might just be a bit of a hit and run. But um, our C3 is pretty much dead ahead of us now. 3.4 kilometers apparently. Let's see what the tool says. It's a bit more of an accurate reading off the tool. 
as that's what counts towards the solution. 4K is here. So tube oh, 1, tube 2. Launch those up. Fire those away. All good. Two good hits there on our C3, so let's hope that's going to be enough to take it down, unlike the last one, which just sat dead in the water. But, uh, yeah, not much of a fire on board, unfortunately, but two massive black holes on the side of it. So it could be a good sign. But we're going to have to let the destroyers and that do their thing, and the convoy might get a little bit out of reach from us, unless we come back later to finish this. So yep, she hasn't gone down, and the rest of the convoy have gone their own way now. And we're within range with a deck gun here. We've got Captain going up there now. We'll jump up there and just put a few shots into the back of the C3 and should be enough to encourage it to go down. Pretty choppy up here. Wouldn't want to be on the deck gun. But she shouldn't take too many shots. And that'll be another 10,000 tons or so to our tally. Yeah, she's got minimal damage that she needs to take. But it's best to put more than you need in. Just to give it that bit of encouragement. should be enough for the C3 she's gonna go down quietly and you can see there's enemy off in the distance so I'm thinking why not just launch a round or two in that direction see if we can hit them from this far away very unlikely but why not give it a go <laughs> see I don't even know if that shot would actually make it towards that ship. It might burn out before it gets there. But uh, yeah, I would say that's overshot if anything, for sure. Can't tell though. Handy having it lit up like that though, isn't it? Oh, it is travelling. Yeah, she's burnt out. I think there's something else. A little bit closer. There it is. Let's take a shot at that one. We'll never know if we hit it or not, but we're just trying it out for a little bit of fun. Get some of that. Well, it's looking pretty good. That was a hit. It's the 25th of May and we're back at the port. Let's see what we've got. This guy gets hardly anything, a little bit of XP. We get a little bit of XP. And here's a list of what we got up to. So we sunk three, four, five. Five ships, but they're all big ships. 31,000 tons, not too bad. 25 days at sea. It's not a bad outing. Well that'll be the end of that episode guys, hope you enjoyed it, we didn't sink as much as I was hoping but still got a fair few tons under our belt, so hopefully next episode we'll be back out there and causing a lot of damage again, that'll be good if we can, so like and subscribe and stay tuned for more, I'll be back next week with another video.